Hey guys, Michael Carbonaro here. Welcome to the After Effect, and thank you for watching tonight's episode of the Carbonaro Effect. Here is where I will answer your questions about the episode or about, I guess, life in general. Hey, write in anything you want to hashtag Ask Michael Carbonaro. All right, Taylor's going to kick us off, and she says, Hey, Michael, since your show is my favorite show to watch on TV, what's your favorite show? Well, Taylor, my favorite show is actually, I watch I watch you, Taylor. I know you watch me, but I actually watch, I have cameras set up at your house and outside your yard, and I've been watching you and your family for uh, two years now, and I'm telling you, it just gets better and better every single season, so. It's so funny that we're both fans of each other. I can't believe you wrote in that is like the weirdest coincidence. Man, Taylor. Excuse me, I'm getting a phone call. Hi, I'm in the middle of an after effect right now. This is live, so I gotta go. Okay, bye. That was a magician who was actually calling about a secret for next season, so we'll get back to that. Dawn! Our next question is from Dawn. What was really in that watermelon drink? It extracts 80% of the juice and it condenses the watermelon down so it really concentrates the flavors. I know, I was just about to, I was like, And then this is the best part because it's so tight, the skin, if you can get through the rind. There you go. It'll pop that. It's an actual process. It's very good. It's the best way to get the crystallized sugars from the watermelon inside your mouth and it hits your taste buds. So it's like the most pure form. It's mainlining watermelon. That is the coolest thing I ever saw in my life. Liz writes in and says, you said broccoli was a very zen vegetable. What is your favorite vegetable? This is Pressing question, I'm glad you found the time to tune in to find out my favorite vegetable. My favorite vegetable is carazzini. It's a carrot and a zucchini uh, hybrid, and it is really good for your eyes and for your back plates. Yes, I have back plates, like a dinosaur. Paul writes in and says, how convincing are those fake tattoos in person? You know, they make me want to really get tattoos. These fake tattoos are making sort of like lizardy skin on me, which is like only more appropriate for the Chicago Reptile House. I was a little paranoid because it kind of makes like that reptile-y skin because it's like a latexy thing. So I'm like sitting there, not only worried that they're gonna like think that I'm doing a magic trick, but they're also gonna bust me. That's not my hair, it's not my skin. It's, it's, it, it, it's a little paranoia. They do look really real. We got away with it, so that's that. Josh writes in and says, the guy in the toilet paper trick had a great reaction. How is it that someone can have seen your show and still not recognize you in person? Well, there's a TV show called The Carbonero Effect, and what they, is play tri they play tricks on people. Who not tricks, but like they, they're optical illusions, that type of deal, so. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that thing. I have no idea either. I mean, this guy went through the entire experience and yet knew the show. Who That's, does it? I don't know, some guy. Some dude? Know. Yeah. People just, I don't know, they don't feel like in their world that that's actually gonna happen. I, I thought two plus two equals four, but it doesn't here. When those two things come together and they have that moment of realization, there's nothing better than that. Usually, it's just them realizing that it was magic, and we love seeing that, but them seeing magic and then seeing that they even knew the show that it was on, it's like pow, 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 fireworks everywhere. You're on that TV you, show. You were joking. The one that you're just talking about. I'm a magician, and this is the Carbonaro effect. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Yo, yo, you were you're not, you are not, Dude, you're on you are not, are you serious? I'm serious. Are you serious? Fireworks and toilet paper. What better way to end an episode? So thank you guys for writing in those questions. I do love answering these. Please write more at hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro. You can do that on Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you next week after another episode of The Carbonaro Effect.